Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. So this is the second video out of three on how to get your WordPress website up from start to finish. So last week we talked about how to choose the right theme for your purpose and this week we're going to get technical and I'm going to go over everything that you need to know to buy a theme and then Put it online so anyone can see it so one thing that i didn't mention um, last week was is that you can view all the top themes in theme forest by just coming over here to community and then choosing popular files and right here are all the most popular popular files listed and i actually purchased this one which if you'll remember from last week this author's name is solo pine and this one has only been out for a month, but it had a lot of sales, a lot of great reviews and good comments. So I decided to take a chance and I bought it. So once you buy your theme, you can find it by going up here once you have a profile name and choosing downloads. And you'll get over here and then you'll see the theme that you bought right up here and you can hit download and then there's all the other themes. Um, that you've bought before too right there. So what we're gonna do is just download installable WordPress file only. So I'm gonna click on that and it's just gonna download a zip folder for me. So we're all done here once you buy your theme. Okay, so now we're gonna jump over to Bluehost. And little disclaimer here, I have used GoDaddy in the past, but recently, obviously, a lot of people probably know GoDaddy doesn't have the best reputation these days. And Bluehost, a lot of people are switching over to Bluehost, and it's gotten very popular because they've got really good deals if you're new to hosting. So this is awesome. Plus, you get a free domain. Plus, they're one of the fastest hosting um, options out there, which Fast hosting means that you rank better SEO wise because your website loads faster. So Bluehost, a lot of people are switching over to it. So I thought since uh, it is so popular these days that I would go over this um, so you can see how to set up a WordPress uh, website using Bluehost. So we're going to get started by clicking get started and I will have a link for Bluehost in the video description so you can get there using that link. Um, it is a referral link so if you do use it I will make a little bit off of it so if you enjoy this tutorial please click there. I really appreciate it. Okay so we're going to hit get started now and you'll be brought to the screen with three options and we're just going to go for the cheapo option here so I'm going to select this. And this is where you type in your free domain. Uh, it's really awesome that you get a free domain with your hosting when you set it up. So I already know what domain I'm going to use, but I want to show you what will happen if you try to type in a domain that's already been taken. So I'm just going to use my blog's name and just, whoops, every Tuesday and hit next. And obviously this is taken because this is my blog. And you can see it gives you some alternate suggestions and you also have a box right here that you can type in something else if you want. So I already know what I wanna use. I wanna use uh, Lovely Tuesday. And I'm gonna hit next. And you'll see that because this one is available, it's gonna show up and give me a big congratulations. And over here is where I'm gonna type in all of my information um, to get this started. So I'm gonna type it in and I'm going to be right back. So before I finish putting in the rest of my information, I just want to show you what options I'm choosing here. Um, so you can do the same thing or just choose whatever is appropriate for you. So in this package information, you'll notice that there's a bunch of upsells right here and I'm going to click off all of these. So I'm not going to take any of that. And under account plan, you can see the deal is for obviously the longer time period. And I don't know if I want this for three years, so I'm gonna choose the 12 month price, which is a little more expensive. Um, but for me, it's just a little safer of an investment because I'm not sure I wanna have this for three years. So I'm just gonna choose that. And then I'm gonna finish putting in my credit card information. I'm gonna make sure that this is checked and then I'm gonna hit next. So I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So after you hit, um, agree, you'll end up on this page. So you can see they, they're offering a lot more upsells, upgrades um, to everything, which once again, I'm not going to take anything because I don't need it. So I'm just gonna make sure down here it says additional upgrade total zero, and then I'm gonna hit complete. So this will process my order and get me started. Okay, uh, and I'm gonna block out all of this information, um, but now I'm gonna make 
a password. So now you'll get to this page where you choose a password for your Bluehost account. So I'm just gonna check this little box here saying that I've read and agreed to the terms. And then I'm gonna choose a password and you can see they're kind of strict about having it very, very secure. So just make sure you follow all of their rules right here and I'm just gonna type mine in. You can also uh, generate a password, but I don't like doing that because then I can never remember them. So I'm going to hit create. Okay, so now I've got um, my login screen. So I'm going to type in the password that I just chose. And now I'm logging into Bluehost. This is my Bluehost login. And this is another upsell, so we're just going to skip that and choose no thanks. And now this is called your C panel or a control panel. Um, we don't need this because I'm going to show you how to do it. So I'm just going to close that. All right. So now here's where all of your options are. And we need to install WordPress because we're creating a WordPress website. So I'm going to click on install WordPress. And this is, um, where I do it myself for free. So I'm gonna choose install. And I don't wanna choose any directory because I want it just on my website. So I'm gonna hit check domain. And because this is a brand new domain, it'll work fine for you. So sometimes it takes a little bit. Uh, let's see, I've read to the terms and conditions and sure, let's show advanced options. Okay, so this is where we wanna choose our login and our password. So when we log in to our WordPress site for the back end, this is how you control everything and control the appearance of it. So this part is actually really important because we need to choose what our username is and what our password is. So I'm just gonna use admin right here and then I'm just gonna put password for now. Um, and obviously I'm gonna change this before this tutorial airs. So now I'm gonna hit install now. Obviously they want to upgrade you again. <laughs> we don't wanna do that because we already have our theme. So no thanks. All right. And I will be right back once that install bar is all the way so you don't have to sit here and wait with me. Okay, so once the install is complete, you'll see up here it says install is complete. So I'm going to hit view credentials. And now you can see um, if I hit view right here, I can get all of the information that I need. So right here, this is a very, very important URL. So make sure um, you take note of that, save it somewhere because this allows you to always log in to your backend. So I'm going, and you can see right here, this is my login information that I'll need. So I'm gonna click on this and our username, admin, and the really lame password that I chose. And I'm gonna hit login and I'm not gonna save it because I'm definitely gonna change that password. So log in. And now we're in our back end of our WordPress site. So this is where we're gonna create all of our content, add anything that we want to. This is really how we get started with editing and putting everything live that we want in front of people. So I'm gonna come over here to appearance and choose themes because now we're gonna upload the theme that we bought earlier and I'm gonna choose add new. And from here, I'm going to choose the file that we bought earlier. So for me, um, it's in my downloads and it's the Rosemary blog theme. So I'm gonna hit open and then I'm gonna choose install now. And once this installs, you can see theme installed successfully and I wanna live preview it before I activate it just to make sure that I'm happy with how it looks. So yeah, this is exactly how it should look because it's very bare bones uh, because no content has been added to the theme yet, but I've got all the tools that I need to create whatever I want using the theme. So I'm gonna save and activate it. So now if I go to lovelytuesday.com, that should show up 
and it does. So now anyone in the world can see what I just did and it was really quick and really easy. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe and please make sure to stop back next week so you can see where we finish off this series of creating a WordPress website from start to finish. Next week I'll go over all of my favorite plugins that I use and we'll start putting content into our theme and I'll show you how to do that in the back end. So once again, if you're interested in starting your own website, uh, and you want to use Bluehost, please click the link in the video description and I will see you next week.